Hey, private genocide. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. What's the, uh, what's the status? Oh, okay, sweet. He said, he said he's joining. Um, uh, well, Crash and Axion just haven't been able to respond anywhere. So we're just going to do 4v4. And if they happen to check Discord eventually, then they can join in together. Yeah. Yep, Sweet. I'm here. All right, universe is there. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, you can do it. I, yeah, you just go ahead and do it. <laughs> They're about to, to read the poem pretty shortly, guys. So I guess we can, uh, get our poses, get into our poses. <laughs> can you put, um, oh, genocide. Can you put the live stream on? Thank you. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Yeah, just mute him. Sounds good. Welcome to the Anzac Hyper Dash Squad. Today we are having a battle between Australia and New Zealand to commemorate the sacrifices that was made during World War II. I'm joined with Universal. How are you today? Doing pretty good, thank you. Uh, looking forward to today's match. It's a pretty important day today for Hyper Dash. We've had the Dash League Finals. It's busy ongoing as we speak. Uh, we've got this Anzac Hyper Dash scrim. And a little bit later on, we have the finals for Season 1 of the APAC League. Yeah, it's been... It's going to be a pretty crazy day today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what we need to do is we need to jump right into our game. We'll get uh... Okay, we have our team that uh, is going to be fighting with us on Australia side. We've got Drury, Eraser, Person and Damage You. And on New Zealand, we've got Mr. Soap, McMuffinator, Rembrandt, and Firehorse. And I think what we should do to get started is we should have a moment of science. So, gents, if I could ask you just to stand still for me. And uh, we'll read this poem. They shall grow not old, as we that, we are, that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years come down. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Thank you, guys. I think we can uh, get ready. You want to wave to the crowd?
Uh, do we have any idea what the first match is of the scrum? Um, have no clue at the moment. It looks like a Australia is missing a player. So they are missing a player on the um, New Zealand side and on the Australia side. Ah, okay. And they said if they don't get the player coming in um, when the match starts, then they're just going to do it as a 4v4. And yeah. Until which point somebody will jump in. Ah, I see the drones. The bots have been disabled. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it should be an interesting game. We've got two teams of at least decently skilled players. Like, it seems like Australia's going to have a lot tougher time than New Zealand looking at um, who's on the actual teams. Yes. Red team, New Zealand getting ready on their defensive strats. Oh. McMuffinator has come a long way this season in terms of skill. Yep. Like, uh, wow. He has improved insanely. Same goes for, uh, who is it? Person. Person is really getting up there and definitely taking on some of the big guys. Um, who else do we have? We have... Damage you and Rui. Oh. We've got a lot of skilled players, at least. It definitely won't make it easy for the New Zealand team. No. However, New Zealand does seem to be holding them back pretty well. At the moment. Nice kill by Damage there. Yeah, really good. These guys have been training quite hard, getting all ready for the finals coming up. Oh, We've yeah. Fire Horse on the Chaos team that is uh, going to be playing soon. Got some yeah. great players in this Anzac match. <laughs> yep. Now, it's going to be a bit of trouble for. Um, the Australian team to actually get down this ridge with Firehorse especially being on rockets and explosives like shocks and that ever it does look like the Australian team isn't actually suffering that much with dealing with it which is very surprising Move the carts. It's three minutes coming just around the bend at the moment, so time's, time's in their favor. Yeah, they're making great time. Oh, fire horse with the rockets. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's 
two. With the New Zealand team containing Rembrandt, Firehorse, Mr. Soap as well, and McMuffinator. It does seem like they do have the advantage. However, at the same time, the Australian team is actually doing really well. Like, compared... Oh, yeah. They're just getting on point. That's all you need to do. Hop on yeah. point. Push it that little bit more. Rely on, on your teammates to actually kill the others. And just keep going. Oh. Firehorse doing really well. Not trying fun. to evade people that are pushing onto the rockets while he's just laying down with the paint. The Razor sneaking in from the side. Can he get anyone? Oh. Nah. So just gets him. They really got to look out from behind because that seems like their one downside at the moment. They're doing well pushing, however, they're letting people through. Yeah. If you get behind them. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's a tough that, game and when you're playing as a the offense in this type of map because you're trying to keep that payload moving at the same time you're trying to defend the payload as well as defend your rear so you almost have to be in more than one place at once yeah no doubt and you constantly have to have one person on that payload which it means they're an easy target which means that you're almost a 4v5 when it comes to a full screen. yeah this is why good strat strategy makes everything. Yeah. Especially for like pushing the payload. They really need to get rid of that um whoever's on rockets right now. Mr. Soap down by person, nice. They've made the six minute mark. Oh, made checkpoint, nice. Okay. Not doing too bad. No, they're, they're straight pushing hard. Mr. Soap getting on the rockets again. Oh. And at checkpoint, it looks like person is leading with most kills on... Yeah, they're the top dasher at the moment. Yep, person top oh. dasher, 20 kills and 23 deaths. And Mr. Soap on New Zealand team with 31 kills and 9 oh. deaths. Wow! Oh, that was all hurt. <laughs> and oh, and no. again. Oh. Uh, oh, oh my goodness! What yeah, you point? really got to look out for soap. <laughs> yeah. It does not play friendly when it comes to objective. <laughs> no. Interesting place to be for McMuffinado there. However, it does work. Wow. No one seems to be on the card, which is... Oh, oh yeah. they're just all respawning now. Oh, okay. And they're all dying they... just as quickly. Yeah, they really need to get at least two disruptors to get behind the other team. Yep. If they want to stand a chance. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh no. The Sherling team has definitely lost their momentum right now. Well, let's see if, we can, if they can get it back. It really. Okay, the card is positioned pretty well now. At least it's straight, so. There's defense from the front. That's one thing a lot of people have to actually learn. They try to get the card actually facing front because then you at least have the shield to the front uh, oh looks like blue is pushing all the way up wow what a push they're still going they're still going great excellent movement. they made it all the way up the hill oh with still four minutes left not bad, not bad. 
No. How? No, blue team's still going. Can they keep the momentum up? Wow. Yeah, definitely gotta look out for Soap. He's like very, very lo pesky looping. <laughs> <laughs> Rembrandt stick with 22 kills to 15 deaths. Not bad either. McMuffinator! Wow! With yeah, 25 kills. Really good. 25 kills, 22 deaths. Firehorse, not bad. Definitely is trying to like support them with rockets and all that. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Person's. No, person is not leading. Oh wait, yeah, person is. Didn't see that right. <laughs> okay, person's still leading with 31 kills. However, damage you. 25 kills, wow. Difference between person and damage though. Damage has a positive KD, whereas person has a uh, negative KD. However, the reason for that would probably be person is a lot more aggressive in terms of attacking. Yeah. Than damage you. Depends on your playstyle. Oh, Rembrandt holding off the point. Oh. <laughs> They've got the rockets on there now, which definitely has to be dealt with. Damage gets in behind. Can Damage actually take some others out? Rembrandt coming back in. Person. Oh, 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 he just. Oh, just, no. <laughs> he's worked on that. Thank his lucky stars on that one. Yeah. See, it's at this point that the New Zealand team don't have one person on cart the whole time. Oh, yeah. Um, actually. Bit of disruption. Not necessarily. They are at a choke point. If you're at a choke point, it's pretty easy to just like hold them off without having someone on point. But as soon as they start getting to the point where it's like the corner, that's when they really need to have one person on point at least. Yeah. They're doing pretty well holding Australia off at the choke point though. Uh. Eighty-six percent, thirty seconds left. They really need a good push at the end here to actually get there. But we'll oh. see how it goes. Oh, that was a nice attempt. Drewy took down Mr. Soap, though. Yeah. At least that would have made it easier for the rest of the team. Um. Eighty-six percent, five seconds left to go. They're not going to make it. But that was a really oh. Good yeah, especially versing the plays that they are versing with like yeah. Mr. Soap, Firehorse, and Rembrandt, and McMuffinator like coming in to play really strong with them. Swapping sides. Let's see if uh, New Zealand can push past that point. Okay, Drew getting rockets at the start. Not a bad choice. But... If he can do well with the rockets, he'll be good. The problem is, Drew, if he uses rockets, hopefully he won't be seen at the start, because it's terrible if you have rockets and that at the start, and you're just, like, standing there. There's no really good cover. New Zealand fire horse in front, grab trucks. It looks like they've already taken out all of the Australian team. Wow. Yeah. 
path moving Whoa. through well. Morning. How you doing? Ah, yep. <laughs> Fire horse just laying down covering fire, making sure all avenues are covered. Oh, fire horse. Uh, can Rembrandt hold it? Nope. The Australian team is having a tough time actually holding them back. They're already at the top corner oh. with four minutes left. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Rembrandt getting behind the team. Oh no. He tends to do that on this map. Uh. Wow, four minutes left and they're already like almost oh, there. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the checkpoint, yeah. They're definitely at least keeping one person on the card at all times. Yeah, which, which is, is what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And they're definitely being more supported than what Australia did at the start. Uh, and they've made it. Which was. Nine minutes to reach that checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, it does not look good with nine and a half minutes still. <laughs> However, Australia could pull back if they can like get their teamwork back together. Just so helping to push their carts, but also many close by. Yeah. However, they really need someone with at least shots. Oh, or... oh missed a so <laughs> beautiful kill. Wow. This is why you want one of your top players to sort of just be guarding the, the payload as a Payload, like, yeah. Now, if they can even get like a single rocket or shocks in. Stop the cart, that would probably be the best bet, but doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. What's happening with the Australian team? Oh, who's up there? Is that Rembrandt? I think it is Rembrandt. It's Rembrandt. Seven, yeah. Seven kills and 32 deaths. Looks like Rembrandt was uh, disrupting them quite well because we didn't see like barely any Australian team members. Payload is moving oh, out no. of resistance. Yeah. Again, they really need to get at least a shock or a rocket in to just get the payload like people off the payload. Yeah. Oh, I had to think there for a sec, just like, payload people. <laughs> <laughs> the car pushes, that's it. <laughs> uh, um. Damage you! Oh. Yeah, if there's people around, it's always wise to target the payload. Yeah. Like, push it first, then go for the others. Because even if you die from the others, It'll at least have some time of stopping the payload. E yep. Like, even that every, second counts. Every second counts, that's right. Yeah. Payload almost reaching the objective. Oh, nice kill from Damju on Firehorse. Now, can they hold it off at this choke point? Six minutes. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> Yeah, as you said, they definitely need at least one person on the point at all times, at this point. 
considering they only oh. need... Oh, is this game? This, this might be it. No! Nice save. But, oh no, someone's got a point. Is anyone else going to hop on the point? Yep, Jory hops on point. That's good. The problem here is they're all pushing up way too much. They really need to hold choke. Because, yeah, now that Drury's dead, it's no one's really on point. Yeah. What? Erasure is hopped on? Sitting there. No. Yeah, having... At this point, you really only want one person to go up as Disruptor, and the yeah. rest just hold the point. Because you have five minutes left, it's going to be uh, tough. And there oh, go. there we go. <laughs> Blue wins. New Zealand wins. However, very impressive um, first round by Australia. Like, held them. Just Mr. kept on pushing. Stone. Wow. On 79 kills, 26 deaths. Wow. Top dash on Australian team person with 50 kills and 63 deaths. Not doing too bad, especially for someone being aggressive. Their team... They did well together, Australian team. Yeah. For versing like top players. That's right. In the APAC league, the New Zealand team consists of most of the top top players that we have. Yeah. Most Dash? likely waterway. waterway. Yeah. Nice. Now, this is the problem here with Waterway. Mr. Soap is going to come straight in for every button. <laughs> like, he he plays objective insanely on Waterway. So, if they don't target Mr. Soap, that's going to be a big mistake. So, that's the strategy, yeah? Is keep Mr. Soap down and the rest of the game is easy. I'd say that, but at the same time, they have Firehorse and Rembrandt on their team. However, Firehorse tends to be a sniper, so they just need someone to get behind Firehorse to finish him. But Rembrandt, Quacky, you had something on Rembrandt? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the I feel the only way they're going to actually be able to stand a chance is to get rid of Mr. Soap. Because Mr. Soap's going to be pushing really hard at those objectives. Uh... However, that is also kind of a weakness. If you focus the actual button objectives, he is usually there. He doesn't really jump around too much, like, away from the objective. So, if they can keep something like that up, they should be fine. However, let's see. The Shining team consisting of Person. Person is going to be very aggressive on this map. Like, very. Um, damage you? Oh, not sure about damage you, though. I feel Drury will probably stay more defense throughout the thing. Eraser will probably push with Damage to B. If they can. If Eraser and Damage can push to B point and then Person A. Person just pushes to like C or A, whichever one it is. It may turn out to actually work in their favor. Yeah. Ugh. And here we go. Match starts in three. 
Now the bottom rail battles are always interesting ones. <laughs> However, it looks like Damju won the bottom rail ba uh, battles. That's wow. like it. Australia has already gotten every point at the start there. Nice. Person, yeah, person definitely pushing real aggressively at the point. The problem is being able to hold the point. Oh, is this it? Nah. Nice save by person there. It's either going to go one way or the other. It's going to be constant um, pushing by the New Zealand team or it's going to be constant pushing by the Australian team. Team scores in three, two, one. Yep, it looks like New Zealand nice. has scored the yeah, first goal. Oh. Uh. Going for B person. Can he get rid of McMuffinator? No. McMuffinator gets B. However,. We know a few people should be on bomb rail. Yep, getting the point. Will they get in time? No! <laughs> what wow, a push. what a match. So far, we've only been playing for about two minutes, and New Zealand team have two points. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Australian team at the moment. They had a strong start set at the like, first match with getting all three points, but they didn't manage to quite hold it for long. They really need to all push as a team. That's the problem here with Australia. Red team oh, can they hold it? No, someone's at B. And looks like... Oh. Yep. Is this it? No! no nice so. save. By person again. Oh, three, two, one. And that's it. Is that it? That's it? Wow. That's it. That was extremely quick. Yikes. Who's top dashes? Top dashes. Uh, person. Muffinator on the New Zealand team and person on. Person and damage you on the Australian team. Yeah. Good job, guys. Galway's Rembrandt with 2,000. I'm very surprised that Soap didn't get more than uh, what he did, considering he enjoys pressing the buttons. Yes. <laughs> well, that was an interesting skirmish. Uh, New Zealand takes it this year. I wonder if it's going to be the same next year, though. Do you think they'll be doing a control point to finish um, it off? Well... It wouldn't not be a mute. Yeah, you see the guys disconnecting. So it's. Ah, yep. I don't think so. Yeah, because it's pretty okay. much the uh, New Zealand team's habit. So it, it was nice uh, commenting with you. You too, genocide. Thanks for having me on board. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next match. Sounds good. See ya. Bye bye.